it's about the community, it's about how you manage people, it's about innovation, and it's about the way you manage and run your business. And it's also, it's open to every farming type. There's very few competitions that um, aren't more specific to the type of farming you do. It's not just a greeny thing at all. It's, it's a whole package. The environment is a big part of it, but like there's financials, there's there's people, there's community, there's yeah, a whole host of things really. Interacting with the community and your other social responsibilities around your property. Um, we felt that we were at a point where um, our hard work that we've done so far we'd like to promote to the community to, so they can see what is possible. It's also a great tool for benchmarking, you know, just looking at your environmental impact and seeing what you can do better. I thought we had a nice farm and it was just to see how, how it compared with other farms around the area and get feedback too and just see, see how we were going. Um, I ended the competition with a fair bit of arm twisting. Probably we were a bit nervous about it, but once I'd made my decision, like, yeah, we went full hog then. The initial reservation was, in my part, down to not knowing what to expect. I probably thought it was going to be harder than it was. The initial judging process uh, was fantastic. Um, we got good feedback from uh, the four judges. And they're pretty good at putting you at ease because they want to see the best that you've got. It was enjoyable and the guys really knew their stuff. We organised the day and we ran the day. We had times. We were going to be inside for this long and we ran it. Awards night, that was a fantastic night. We really enjoyed it. Everybody was incredibly humble and I think everybody took it as a great opportunity. I took my steering team along and, and yeah, everyone was buzzing about the night. It was a real positive night. I'm not very good at speeches and it was <laughs> a, bit, a bit embarrassing at the end. For me, the greatest learning through this process was around the variety of judges that came and they really honed into different aspects of what we were doing. What you did automatically without thinking about it, it made you, made you think about it and, and actually put a reason to why you did it. I was, found it quite inspirational to see what the other farms in the, in the competition were doing with some quite unique projects. And now when I go around I, I think about what, what else we could possibly be doing in the future and it helps us plan a direction to head in. And we've had a few articles written about us which I think is fantastic for that sort of rural urban divide that people often talk about. Yeah, like it's everyone's involvement in the whole thing, like I think we all learn. It's given us more of a holistic view on where and what and how we do things. Stepping back and analysing what you do, it's yeah, a really worthwhile experience. The awards are important to the primary industries and to New Zealand as a whole. Um, because we need to celebrate the success stories. If we're going to go out and compete on the world stage with a clean green product, then that starts here at home. You go into these competitions not to win, it's not about winning, and it's, it's basically it's about showcasing what you do. We are trying to make a better place or a better environment for future generations. It's not just the here and now for us, it's the what is it going to be like in 50 to 100 years' time? Yeah, I'd encourage everybody to have a, have a go at it. Um, absolutely nothing to lose. And everybody thinks that they're not ready, but it doesn't matter. You are, you just have a go. You also don't have to try and win it the first time. You can enter, see where you're weak, and then have another go in a few years' time. It's a no-brainer, I reckon, enter. Go, go for it. it. <laughs>